Well, a popular, not really, soccer star on her final kick before retirement whiffs it. Yep, so let me finish this. To the delight of her opponents. Uh, yeah. And Americans worldwide. <laughs> well, there's always those subway commercials. Well, whoops. What? You got fired from those. My bad. <laughs> I'm Jazz Bergonzo, and this is what's next. What's up, guys? Jazz Bergonzo, what's next? Your daily dose. Happy Monday. Well, it's that time of year again. It's World Cup season. Yes, Americans, get your soccer jerseys on, get your American flags out. Rah, rah, women's team. Not really. Ever since one Megan Rapinoe, yes, remember her, the purple hair, pink hair, green hair, rainbow hair color, uh, soccer star who is extremely popular, not really, decided to take the knee because, of course, she loves Colin Kaepernick so much that Americans have gotten sour about the World Cup America's women's team. But why? Why? It's the World Cup. You're rooting for your country. But for the first time that we've seen, Americans really don't give to about the women's Americans soccer team. But now to make things worse or better, depending on, on your outlook, Megan Rapinoe, who announced her retirement earlier on the final kick, a penalty kick, whips it. Yes, wide right. And America's team got eliminated. Oh. I love it. And here we go. This comes out of Breitbart. Sick joke. Megan Rapinoe ends her career with a blown penalty kick that cost the U.S. the World Cup. Ah, oh, it couldn't have happened to a better person. The international career of Megan Rapinoe ended in a dramatic penalty shootout against Sweden on Sunday with her failed kick at goal, helping to send the USA team crashing out of the Soccer World Cup underway in New Zealand and Australia. Rapinoe and Sophia Smith missed penalties that could have given the US the win, and Kelly O'Hara missed the Americans' final shot in giving Sweden the opening it needed. In an interview after the dramatic finish to the contest stage in Melbourne, Australia, Rapinoe said, quote, I mean, this is like a sick joke. For me personally, it's like a dark comedy that I missed a penalty. This is the balance to the beautiful side of the game. I think it can be cruel. You blow a kick, and that's your response. Wow. Quote, I think the team has always fought so much more, and that's been the most rewarding part for me. To know that we've used our really special talent to do something that's changed the world forever. What? Taking knees? Well, it's just me. But uh, let's hear from her. This one ended, but the fight to get there all the way to PKs and obviously not going your way in the end. Yeah, I thought we played really well. Um, I thought we played really well. I'm so happy for us that we went out like that, um, playing the way that we did and, you know, having a ton of joy on the ball. Um, I mean, what? this is like a sick joke. For me personally, I'm just like, this is dark comedy. I missed a penalty. Um, okay. The result in an international career, Rapino, the golden boot winner of 2019, a tournament who is retiring after the World Cup. Well, retire now. It's the earliest exit of the tournament history for the U.S. Four-time winners of the World Cup. The earliest exit. You got booted in the first round. Wow. The United States claimed the last two World Cup titles and four of the last eight editions held before this year's event down under. They have never gone out before the semifinals. This time, they have been sent packing in the last in the last 16, having just won one game that ended in an unconvincing win, 3-0, against that juggernaut in Vietnam. And of course, very sad pictures. But off the bench against Sweden, her final act of her country was to put the penalty over the bar and send her country's hopes into it oblivion. 
Benny Johnson. Breaking World Cup U.S. soccer humiliation after winning back-to-back -back world titles and heavily favored U.S. team has been eliminated by Sweden in the 16th round. The U.S. team's downfall was delivered by anti-American, anti-woman activist Megan Rapinoe's embarrassing free kick shown here. Let's watch. Here it comes. And she's smiling. She, she basically did a Buffalo Bills. Wow. Vince Langham. Not only did the anti-American woke women's soccer team lose today, Megan Rapinoe missed a penalty kick that would have sealed the win for the U.S. Talk about a win-win. We don't have to see Megan Rapinoe on our TV anymore. I love it. I love it. Megan Rapinoe laughing after missing the penalty. I'm sorry, what was that? She talked about all that shit about equal pay. At the end, she was the one who knocked them out of the World Cup. Ah, gotta love it. The greatest women's soccer player of all time, the GOAT, goes out like this. It's disgusting. It's embarrassing. It's humiliating. It's justice you like that the fact of the matter is is that megan rapinoe dug herself this grave early on the second you took a knee the second you decided to bend over to the woke the second you decided to grab both ankles and say give it to me hard without ky they owned your ass gotcha bitch that's exactly how the woke looked at it and from that moment on, Megan Rapinoe ran around uh, the country and ran around the world. America's is a piece of garbage. America's trash. You know, she was doing something like Brittany Grinder. Of course, Brittany Grinder was in Russian prison, but but now, of course, Brittany Grinder is now kissing America. You know, every time she well, anyway, I think she's uh, what uh, she took herself out of the game because of mental illness. I'm sorry, sidetrack there. But when it comes to Megan Rapinoe, is that at one time, she was a very good player. A very good player. But then, she got a tap on the shoulder. It was politics. Saying, hey, you got a bully pulpit here. Get on that soapbox and spout off how evil and trash-filled America is. Because look, the... Backup to the backup quarterback got on his knee and look how it turned out for him. So you can do that too, Megan. You can do that too. And so she did. And uh, of course she was very popular. <laughs> yeah, if you're demented. She received a medal from Dementia Joe. That makes her the goat. She got hired by Subway to do ads and then got fired, but she got hired nonetheless. That makes her great. And now, more than likely, she will end up on ESPN Woke because it won't be Fox Sports, but she'll end up on ESPN Woke trashing America and talking how great the women's soccer team is. Well, maybe now they'll realize that Sports and politics do not mix. But only time will tell. And with that being said, I'm Jazz Berganzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. And we'll see you next time. Peace.